haircut is not always just a haircut. For Janet Stevens, hairdo archaeologist, it's about redefining the way historians think about hair. Tightly twist and coil the hair into a bun. Hairdresser by day, Ms. Stevens has been obsessed with recreating ancient Greek and Roman haircuts. Why? It all started with a bust she saw of the Roman empress Julia Domna. She wondered how that intricate braided bun had been built. She tried to recreate it on a mannequin, but couldn't get it to hold together. Turning to the history books for clues, she learned that historians widely believed the elaborate styles of the day were wigs. She didn't buy that. Through trial and error, she figured out that the look could be achieved if you sewed the hair together using a needle. While looking for historical evidence to back up her theory, she practiced hairstyles of ancient royals such as Faustina the Younger and Empress Plotina. Eventually, she found proof in ancient Roman literature that she felt backed up her needle and thread theory. She has since been published in top archaeological journals and spoken at major conferences around the country. Recently, Ms. Stevens deciphered a particularly tricky hairstyle worn by the Vestal Virgins, women who took a vow of chastity and stood guarding a sacred fire in ancient Rome. Vestals wore their hair covered, so there are almost no carvings or images of the complete hairdo. She is now moving on to a towering style seen on an ancient Roman sculpture known as the Fonseca Bust, a style that truly defies gravity. In Baltimore, I'm Abby Pesta for The Wall Street Journal.